How's it going, guys? You've asked for it, and finally, we've delivered. We've got Vehicle Virgin shirts in blue and black. We've got long sleeves, short sleeves. We've even got sweatshirts, and check out this awesome design on the back. The only thing is, it's a limited run. It's only happening until October 23rd. That's next Sunday. Make sure you get these quick, because they won't be coming back ever again. Click the link in the description below to visit Teespring to check these things out. The material is awesome and they're reasonably priced. If you're on a mobile device, just tap the screen and then tap the I uh, up in the top right to access the cards and then click that and you're well on your way to ordering some awesome Vehicle Virgin swag. So with that, let's get to the video. In just two months, I've put over 6,000 miles on my Lamborghini Huracan. I've fallen completely in love with the car, thought I'd make a video series about the things I love about it. There's no way I can include all of them in this one video, so I'm leaving this one to just five things, uh, and if you enjoy the video and want to learn more about the car, I'll make subsequent videos with five more things or ten more things and stuff like that. The first is, finally, this is a Lamborghini that drives better than it looks. What do I mean by that? Well, Lamborghinis have always looked incredibly good. They've sounded fantastic, but they kind of are heavy understeering pigs. But now with the Huracan and the Aventador SV, you've got a beautiful car that also handles incredibly well. You've got electromechanical steering instead of hydraulic steering, which normally scares people, but I'm telling you, it is absolutely brilliant. This car handles like a Porsche, and that is one of the best compliments that I can give any car. In the previous generation, the Gallardo, we had hydraulic steering. It was very, very heavy. It was direct, but it made the car feel bigger and heavier and more sluggish than potentially it actually was. Now, if I put it in Strata mode, one of three driving modes, street mode, the steering loosens up. It's nice and light. It's easy to go around town. Definitely not something you'd use on the track. Put it in Sport or Corsa mode, and it firms up, not in an artificial manner, but in a really great way that gives you plenty of control, instant turn in, and also a lot of feedback. The car feels so light on its feet, so nimble and ready to crush twisty, really tight turns as well as long sweeping turns. And of course, you've got the power to exit those turns as well, an all-wheel drive system to keep all four wheels planted. Next up is the gearbox. It's a dual clutch system that is far and away on a different universe than the previous generation e-gear transmission. I owned a first generation Gallardo that had the e-gear transmission, single clutch, and there were some positives and there were some negatives. The positive was when you were flooring it in a straight line, those shifts were brutal, slammed you back into the seat, and there was a ton of drama. Downsides, very, very jerky at slow speeds, hard to drive around town, and the clutch life was horrible. In fact, on the first generation Gallardo, if you used launch control more than five times, you'd have to buy a new clutch, and the clutch would cost you seven to ten thousand dollars. If you don't use launch control a bunch, you had to worry about going in reverse and every little thing that would damage the clutch because it would only last ten to twenty thousand miles. This car, dual clutch system, best of all worlds. So in Strata mode, this is the first Lamborghini where automatic mode is actually worth talking about. So we got it Strata in automatic and the car shifts very smoothly and because it's a dual clutch system you don't have to worry about using up the clutch. This clutch is going to, both the clutches will last uh, easily 40,000 miles plus without having to worry about it and you can do launch control over and over and over again. Now switch it into sport mode, uh, the shift times get a little bit more intense. If you're in automatic mode it will hold the RPMs farther and also in automatic mode, check this out, if you slam on the brakes it downshifts for you. That was three downshifts into second gear. It actually thinks smarter than you can. But I didn't buy this car to put it in automatic mode. So Corsa is my favorite mode. Uh, it's manual only. The shifts are just the second you click the paddle, you're upshifting or downshifting. The great part about Corsa mode is they kept the drama of the old Lamborghini single clutch systems and you actually get snapped back into your seat. Now in sport mode, it's actually seemingly one continuous acceleration. It shifts so smoothly you don't even feel it, which can be nice in certain scenarios, but I like the bashing of the Corsa mode. 
<laughs> the acceleration is without a doubt one of the best parts of this car. It's actually faster than its older brother to both 60 miles an hour and the quarter mile. Car and driver tested this vehicle two and a half seconds to 60 miles an hour. That's Bugatti Veyron territory, LaFerrari, P1. Of course, after that, those cars are gonna take off. Quarter mile in 10.4 seconds. I've taken this to the track, it was on a really hot day, and I got a 10.7 second quarter mile. I'm sure if it was cooler, uh, be able to drop down to 10.4. But for an out of the box stock car to be running mid 10s is absolutely incredible. With one of the best transmissions out there, an incredible launch control system that revs it up to 4,500 RPMs and shoots you forward, along with 305 section tires, this car, oh, the acceleration is so intoxicating. It's also really fast on the top end. Cars like the Corvette Z06 are great in the quarter mile. They've also got pretty good zero to 60 times considering it's rear wheel drive. But at higher speeds, it really dies off. And that's where this car really shines, especially with its aerodynamics and a characteristic of that V10 pulls and pulls and pulls all the way up to its top speed of 211 miles per hour. The interior is beautiful and functional. You're gonna be spending the majority of your time likely inside the car. Uh, some of the time will be spent staring at it, obviously. So it's nice to have a really good interior. The seats are incredibly supportive. Alcantara, nice contrasted stitching that matches the exterior. I like the embossed Lamborghini logo on the headrests. The steering wheel is the perfect diameter, feels great in your hand, and the full digital instrument cluster is awesome. It's customizable, you've got tons of different screen options, you can display a full tachometer, you can display a tachometer plus, whether you're watch, uh, listening to the radio or maps, or you can go full information mode if you're in backup camera or something like that, you can display that on the full screen, you can display maps on the full screen as well. The speaker system is also really good. If you have serious radio or something like that, even though it's not CD quality, it still sounds incredible through the speaker system. Air conditioning works well. There's none of these normal problems that typically are associated with supercars. It's comfortable to be in even over long trips. I mean, if you get over four hours, it starts getting a little bit uncomfortable in your lower back. But overall, oh. The interior is gorgeous. The hexagonal themes throughout, the gauges, everything is really good quality. The last part is how daily drivable and reliable the Huracan is. In the last 6,000 miles, I've had one issue, and that issue might not be actually the car's fault. Could be some other issues at play here, potentially active sabotage. My brake lines, they got disconnected and brake fluid fell out. I wasn't able to slow down really, so I had to take it to a dealership, do a brake fluid flush, and that was $350. That's the only expense I have incurred maintenance-wise over the 6,000 miles that I've owned this car. It's really not all that bad. And that's a really, really uncommon issue. I think my car was the only one to do that, so you can probably forget about that as well. You've got three-year unlimited mile warranty from Lamborghini. That means, please, if you own a Huracan or you're thinking about one, drive the hell out of it uh, because you've got all your warranty if your motor blows which isn't going to happen it's a reliable vehicle or transmission or electronic issues uh, most likely it'll be something electronic related maybe a sensor going bad you're totally covered the Huracan is an incredibly dependable vehicle. It hasn't been out long enough to know how they function at 50,000 plus miles, but to be honest, most owners are never gonna take them anywhere close to that. I do plan on driving this as much as I can. It's all wheel drive, so I'm sure I'll take it out in the snow a little bit, as long as I can avoid the salt. Oh, I love this vehicle. Well, I hope you found this video informative. There's five things I love about my Huracan. I've got so many more, and if you like this video, I can share them all with you. Please browse our channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.